Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Um, sorry about the poor lighting. I just uh, was making some abrasive paste and found kind of a newer, easier way than um, putting on the stove. Um, this, normally if you make your own abrasive paste, you do a dropper boiler on your stove, heat the beeswax and the mineral oil together, um, then put in your whatever essential oils you're gonna put in. <laughs> Excuse me. Then add your abrasive, whatever you're gonna use uh, for that. There's several different things you can use. I'll let you know what I use for mine. Then you start, 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 start it so that way the abrasive doesn't settle as the beeswax and mineral oil cool. Um, I am the type of person, I don't have time for that. Um, I love doing all kinds of stuff that take time, but if I can find shortcuts, I'm gonna find them. So, warnings about this though. This is a Vitamix uh, uh, blender, mixer. I got it really cheap. Um, I think 70 bucks and it came with two containers. So washing the beeswax and mineral oil out of this is a little tough because you have to use really, really hot water. Um, I put a little bit of the abrasive paste in there with hot water and soap, put it back in, on here, turned it up on high, and you still have to do quite a bit of scrubbing. So make sure you get permission from your wife <laughs> or husband or whosoever Vitamix you are uh, cobbing for this make sure that they're okay with you using it there are natural ingredients of course mineral oil does have petroleum in it and some people don't consider that to be natural so make sure um, you let your wife or whoever know that you're going to be using their mixer it's gonna have beeswax and mineral oil and it's safe the great thing about blenders uh, particularly the Vitamix is you can actually cook soups and things in here it gets so hot so that's another reason why I like using it versus the stove because it heats this all up perfectly, not too hot to where when I add my diametaceous earth, it I have to stir and stir and stir forever. It's a very, very quick method. So need a blender. It doesn't have to be a Vitamix, just a blender that can get like go really good. Um, I haven't tried my other blender yet to see if it worked. I just said I'm gonna use my mammer jammer and go from there so for our recipe <laughs> for excuse me um, my abrasive paste that I use I have not used any other kind of abrasive paste before so I cannot compare this to anything I do not have experience with any other abrasive pastes um, just ones that I've made because they are expensive they are pricey and as a beginner turner it's one of those things where you don't even know if you can get it to the point where you can finish something. Um, so I've just been using it ever since. I like it. I feel that it does a great job for me. So let me show you what some things that I use. No, would you please get me the bottle of mineral oil there? I forgot to bring that bottle over. Right there. Yep. So for the mineral oil, we're going to need 32 ounces. Um, I have price checked in bulk uh, on Amazon uh, how much it would cost to either buy the big jugs and have it shipped here with Amazon Prime, yada, 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 or by going to Walmart and buying their mineral oil in their um, medicine section. It is actually cheaper per ounce to buy a gallon's worth of these than it is to buy a gallon on Amazon. Um, I priced it in so many different ways. and and uh, different places, CVS, Walmart, Walmart, so far is the cheapest. You can look, because sometimes prices change all the time, so make sure you check out the cheapest place, and so far it's uh, Walmart. So I just bought a ton of these, and there you go. So mineral oil, we're gonna need, sorry, my lighting is horrible. We're gonna need 32 ounces of mineral oil. Um, we're gonna need eight ounces of beeswax. I buy the pellets, the real small, let's see, the real small pellets um, off Amazon. Um, they're just natural beeswax. It's not organic or anything. Uh, as far as I know, these aren't that I bought. I will try to, I will put the links of all the stuff that I got off Amazon um, below so that way you can check it out and see if that's something that's um, geared towards your price. So eight ounces of beeswax. And then we're gonna need 
eight ounces of diametaceous earth, also known as DE powder. It is a fine, fine, fine powder that's actually shells and things like that ground up. Um, it's used for dewormer, so if you go to like a tractor supply or a um, <coughs> rural king or something like that, you might be able to find some there. But you wanna make sure that you get a food grade, and normally the food grade will be really light, sorry, the lighting is icky, a really light, almost white color. The real pure, pure stuff will be really, really white. It is safe to eat. Um, you can use it to cleanse your body, um, especially your gut and things like that. And um, just a little TMI, I warn you, if you're gonna use it for that, make sure you don't leave the house for a few days, because anyways. <laughs> Um, this is the particular one that I got off Amazon. It's a big old bag. Hopefully you can see it. Diametaceous Earth. It is food grade and it's diametaceousearth.com. Um, that's what it says on it. It is 100% diametaceous earth. If you get the Red Lake clay diametaceous earth, it is going to have clay in it as well. Obviously the title. Um, and it will be a red color. I have heard people say that they've used the DE powder that, that turned really, really dark color, like really dark so they would turn dark. I don't know if you can see um, this too well, maybe. This, I just finished making this um, right before I started, decided to do the video. It's a really light color and, I, and even on um, maple, light maple, it does not darken it whatsoever. So, um, so if you ask how it looks on wood, it, it looks just fine. It doesn't darken the wood whatsoever. Um, so that's that. That is, sorry. Let's see if I can get a light on there. It is hot here in Florida. It's like 101 degrees. I am staying in the house. I'm not going out in the shed until it is dark and been plenty dark. So we're going to need a few things. Number one, coffee. You gotta have coffee. Um, I'm cheating, I'm doing a cold coffee thing, but still, caffeine. So you're gonna need a few equipment other than 32 ounces of mineral oil, eight ounces of beeswax, and eight ounces of DE powder. You can play with these ratios if you like to get more of a, um, more, more abrasion in there. This particular recipe I just did um, I went ahead and added more DE powder, less mineral oil, and about the same amount of um, beeswax pellets. So we'll see. I, I like playing with things and customizing them and seeing how they work for me. A few uh, other things besides our stuff, obviously. A bowl, sorry, it's dirty because I just, like I said, I just used it. A whisk, a spatula, a bigger spatula. I recommend using smaller ones too so you can get down into your blender get your stuff out um, a lot easier and then you know maybe an extra spoon or whatever just just so you can get into those nicks and crannies because you want to get as much as you can out like I said it's not an easy thing to clean out it's possible just a lot of scrubbing use an old scrubby hot water soap and add some DE powder to it while you do it so it scrubs it out um, Sorry, I get distracted easily. So I'm also going to use, um, I just used lemongrass essential oils. Sorry, the light is icky. I'll put the links, like I said, below to some of this stuff. This I just got at Walmart, it's lemongrass essential oil. Um, one, it uh, helps with antibacterial and antimicrobial, um, has antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. So, um, so when you're using it on your bowls or sitting there while it's not gonna grow any fungus or anything else, I mean, not that there's anything that it could anyway. Um, I'm gonna do with this particular mixture, this new one, I'm gonna use lavender. Um, and you can also use tea tree if you like. I don't, I mean, tea tree oil smells just fine, but um, I personally like the lemongrass or the lavender better. So just a few drops of that in there um, before you put your DE powder in um, will be perfect plus it'll give a nice little smell so let's get started I'm going to oh and also you need a container 
to put your goodies in. Um, I am using a Bath & Body Works candle. I just melt, got the wax out of it, cleaned it up really good. I don't have the cap with me. I'll have to grab it. Um, it just has like a push-on type cap. So that way, when I'm, my hands are full or whatever else and I'm in the shop, I can just pop that off, get some out, put it back on, protect it, keep bugs and dust and everything else out of it without having to deal with the mason jar unscrewing and blah, blah, blah. So I'll leave like my bulk like in my um, shed with a tight top on it. And then this is more for easier use. You can buy tens or um, buy the other mason jars with a screw top lid or, or whatever fancy, whatever works for you. So that's what I use. Just I like to recycle things. So I have a lot of stuff that I hold on to just in case. So first we're going to pour in, hopefully I don't make a big huge mess. First we're going to pour in our mineral oil. It doesn't take long for this to get you know, warm and plus once you put your uh, beeswax beads in, it just annihilates them. So uh, it gets everything really good. I was very surprised of the results when I had just done it. So felt I had to share. It may be worth it just to go to like, uh, we have a Jericho Road here, which is a thrift store um, or a Goodwill or whatever, Habitat for Humanity and go look for just a blender it doesn't matter. Something that just, you can turn it on wide open and let it go. <laughs> if you only spend $2 on it and you just use it for um, making this paste wax or even trying other different types of finishes, then perfect. It's worth it. It is so worth it. Um, like I said, I have, I have two containers for mine. So um, this one I'll probably set aside for this particular purpose and just use my other one for food. The stuff I'm putting in here is food safe, but like I said, you, it's a little tricky getting it all out. So um, just to be on the safe side, I'll probably do that. So now, oops, not now. <laughs> um, I am going to make a lot of noise for a few minutes. Make sure this top is really good. Not the last thing you want is mineral oil flying everywhere, all of you. And I hope that that doesn't happen. <laughs> So I'm gonna make some noise a little bit. I'll probably speed up this process, but you just do it until the mineral oil gets um, warm. It doesn't have to be like scalding hot, just warm it only takes a few minutes to do that. And then we're gonna add in our beads. I do wanna warn you though, make sure you have all your ingredients. See, that's already smoke and coming out of there. Make sure you have all of your ingredients ready to go because once you put your beads in and you get that hot and you shut this blender off, it immediately starts to set up. It, you can still mix your DE powder in it, but you want to make sure that you have everything ready. You get this out of the blender as soon as you're done blending it, um, throw your DE powder in and mix. So I just, I, this particular way, you have a little less time to fool around um, only because it wants to set up in here and um, it, it probably just for the ease of stirring the DE powder in, that would be my suggestion. So I'm gonna turn this on for just a few minutes. I thought of that when I was blending, so I'm gonna make some more noise. So now I'm gonna throw all of my beads in. scraped up later okay so now we're gonna put it back on high and you will be able to tell um, that all the the beads are dissolved and um, blended up because there won't be any chunks it will be smooth <laughs> Mm. 
We're going to put a few drops of our lavender oil in while it's blending. Well, not while it's blending, not while it's on because I can't talk while it's on. Sometimes I'm a little heavy handed with the oils, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my DE powder right into my bowl. Um, and I'm gonna pour my stuff on, on top of it so that way I'm not going around with that process. You can see the smoke in here, so you know it is good and it's it's warm. It's not hot hot, but it's warm. So pour this directly on there. And the main reason you want to kind of work fast is just to get it out of the, as much of it out of the blender as you possibly can. And you can tell as you're scraping the blender that it's like, oh, that's starting to get, sorry, it's my camera, it's starting to get. And at this point, you can um, let this sit in here right here like this and go and um, put hot, hot water in here. So, and a little bit of DE powder, put it back on here, turn it on, let the blender kind of clean itself a little bit. Um, cause this is fine. It's not, at this point, it's, it's not that big of a hurry to get it mixed up. It's not going to go anywhere. So, so if you want to do that instead of mixing and try to get your mixer cleaned up, or maybe you decided to use your wife's blender without her permission and <laughs> you want to get rid of all, I'm not suggesting it. I'm just saying in case you do. If you want to ask uh, for forgiveness later instead of asking for permission, um, <laughs> right now would be a good time. Put really good hot water in it. So, so now all I'm going to do is whisk this together. Um, if you get a little bit of lumps of the the powder, don't worry, they'll they'll work out. I did have some in that, but I just kept mixing it more and it finally broke up. Because the powder is really fine. Scrape your sides of your bowls really good, get any chunks and stuff that might be on there. Now this got a little hotter than my last recipe. I probably let it run a little longer because I did use a more mineral oil in this recipe than I did the one I just made. So it might take a little bit. Um, you can kind of see, see the bowls are, the edges of the bowl is already coated. So it's already cooling down rapidly because I didn't have to get it as hot in order to break up that beeswax. <laughs> the last time I did this, I did drop a broiler on my stove and then put my DE powder in my mixer and I just, let my mixer go so I can not stand here and do this. Um, but this, like I said, cools off a little faster. So this particular method, so I don't have to worry about my DE powder settling um, and it all being in the bottom, which even if it did, you just mix it up in there. It's just a little more, you can forego all that extra work if you mix it till it's a little more solid now. Like I said, that batch ended up being a little more solid. At this point, if you wanted to add more DE powder, as long as, you know, it's movable, you can. Um, I might just do that only because I think I did a lot of abrasive paste in this particular recipe. I've already made this recipe exactly before so i'll try it in between this will be a lot of abrasive paste a little mineral oil this is just like this one i already have one of these in the shop so i will add a little bit more to mine but you do yours how you feel you might want to just start um with the basic recipe and um you can also reheat this up a little bit if you wanted to and add some de powder to it if you didn't like if you didn't like the consistency of it, or like I said, I've never used, 
uh, commercial brand abrasive paste, so I don't have anything to compare this to. Um, I have uh, talked to other wood turners that make their own abrasive paste. Um, they say they like it, so. If you get lumps, they don't stay in there long if you mix, 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 especially if you get it. You can also get it a Habitat for Humanity or a Goodwill, an old hand mixer. And just, if you really want to go tools all the way. See, it is really thick already. I mean, it's, it's runny, but the DE powder isn't going to go anywhere. It's it's thick enough to where it's stabilizing that powder to where it's not gonna sink to the bottom at this point. Um, you just have to worry about that when it's super hot. I mean, it's, I can put my hand in it. It's, it's warm, it's like maybe bathtub warm, but, but not too hot. So that is an easy way, an easier way than doing stove top. Um, abrasive paste using mineral oil, DE powder, and beeswax. I'll put the links to all of the stuff that I used, uh, yeah, all the stuff that I used down below in the comment or in the description. Yeah, that's what that's called. So that way you can check it out for yourself and see if it's worth it price-wise. I think it is this, let's see, so this whole bag was maybe 20 bucks. The lavender oil I used for all kinds of other things. That was like $18, but I literally used two drops of it. So we won't even worry about calculating that in. Um, minerals, 98 cents. So $2 for mineral oil. I don't know, pennies for the DE powder. And the beeswax is probably the most expensive thing. Um, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I use it for making face creams and healing salves and, and bug bite you know, stuff for my kids. So I've had it for a while and it, and it, it goes a long way because you don't have to use a ton of it. So I don't know, a big, this big bowl. I mean, if I wanted to price it high, $3, $3 for this huge bowl of, I mean, this was a smaller amount and it fills this mason jar. This is more than that. So as far as measuring exactly what it would be, I don't know. Um, liquid to solid measurement, blah, blah, blah. Too much math for me right now. It's too hot outside for math. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna pour it in here and whatever I have left, I will put in another mason jar with a good screw on lid. Um, and then I'll just refill this jar. This jar will have near me when I'm turning so it's easier to get to. I just get some on my hands or normally some paper towel or I use those, one second, I'll grab it. I'll use these scrubbies that you get from Walmart. Sorry, I'm covering up my dirtiness because it was <laughs> in the sink. Um, this isn't the one I use though. I use a good clean one. Uh, at the Dollar Tree you can find these. They're, I don't even know what they are, I guess they're felt uh, dish scrubbers that you can use. Um, I usually keep one at, right next to my abrasive paste. I just it right in there. Yes, sound effects and everything. You have to have sound effects in order for it to work. Um, <laughs> so I dip it in there and I scrub it on my bowl and I'll let it run with it on this for a little bit. And then I will use my paper towel to remove any of the remainder or do some more if I feel I need to do some more. So that's it. Now you're just stuck with the mess you got to clean up. Yay. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. If there is another recipe that you know of that you feel that might be better because you've used this particular recipe before, please send it to me. <laughs> I can do a video on it. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that I used or anything that I did, please feel free to ask. Um, so pretty so I mean, that was fast. That's the fastest I have made two batches in less than like an hour. And the first batch I didn't film because I was testing to see if my Vitamix would get it warm enough to get these 
uh, beeswax beads broken down um, and to the consistency. I mean, that's, that's some pretty good stuff right there. So I hope that you guys will try it. It doesn't melt in my shop and it is Florida heat 101 today and this stuff doesn't melt in my shop in the jar. I have never been out there and there's a pool or anything else. So it probably holds up pretty well to heat. It does have beeswax, which, you know, it's wax, but whatever. You guys use your discretion. If you feel like keeping it in the house, keep it in the house. And only take it out there when you use it. It doesn't melt on me, so I don't have that problem. Um, I guess that's it. I don't know what else to mention. I will put the uh, ratio or the ingredients as far as the measurements and everything in the description below too. Well, I think that's it. I think that's all I can think of to share at this moment. Like, share, and please subscribe. Um, and thank you for your support. Have a good day and God bless.